A medical milestone. It was one year ago today. Staff at Kansas hospitals got their first dose of the COVID vaccine. Kansas Hunter Funk spoke with the first two people to get it. She has their thoughts a year later tonight. Hunter. Emily, leading into December 2020, hospitals were filled with COVID-19 patients and vaccines were still up for discussion. But an unexpected morning led to what some staff at Extension Via Christi say was a shot of hope. The year was grim, but December 14th had changed the outlook for staff at Extension Via Christi. We found out that morning that we actually had vaccine and we were actually going to receive it that day. The first person in Kansas to get the coronavirus vaccine was a critical care nurse. Morale was better for sure. He felt like there was hope. The second, an infectious disease doctor. We were exhausted. We had just a huge burden of work to do. And so the vaccine gave us some hope that there was an end on the horizon. Dr. Maggie Hagen says once the vaccine rolled out to the public, staff saw a sharp decline in hospitalizations. And by mid-February, there were fewer cases. Those who were at the highest risk, who wanted the vaccine, were finally protected. Since the vaccine opportunities have evolved, it's now available to most children, pregnant women and there's also access to a booster shot. But unlike what the doctors had hoped for, the pandemic continues to live on. Unfortunately, since then, the virus has mutated and we had the Delta wave hit us in the summer and into the fall. Your emotions are coming in waves, your patient surges are coming in waves. It's it's a difficult situation still. <laughs> About 85% of our hospitalized patients have not been vaccinated. Both say they have learned the virus isn't going away anytime soon, but the vaccine helps keep them going. A year later, I don't feel any less hope for that. I have more realism to know it's not going to completely go away, but I still think the vaccine is our best hope to get beyond COVID. KDHE staff say they're continuing to track the new COVID variant. Right now, there are zero cases of the Omicron in Kansas. Here for you, Hunter Funk, KSN News 3.